So you want to start a YouTube channel and you have no idea where to begin. This video is for you. I'm going to do an overview of all the things that you need to think about before you actually set the YouTube channel up. The video link below goes over the mechanics of what you need to do to set it up. Today, we're just going to go over an overview of all the things you need to think about before you even set it up. Some people jump the gun and they go in and set it up and they don't even have a plan. So this is your plan today. I also am offering a checklist of everything I'm talking about. Hit the link below and you can print out a checklist and think about and reflect on all the things that I'm talking about in the video. So don't worry about taking notes. You'll see the checklist below. Now, this is also not for YouTube channel growth. That's a whole nother concept. That's for people that already have their channel and they want to grow. And I'm not talking about that today. It's just the, the overview for beginners. All right. So if you fall into that category, then stick around and we'll get started. The first thing you need to do to start your channel is come up with a topic. Now, if you're coming, if you're creating the channel because you just want to have fun and you really don't care about how big your audience is, your audience is measured by subscribers, but you just want to share some things and that's not important to you. You just have fun making videos, then go for it. But if you're looking to build a business or build an audience, then you need to choose a topic that people are looking for. And it, the interesting thing, it's the same way in marketing. A lot of people come up with great ideas and they go create this product that they just know everybody's going to love and they never test at the market to see if there's even a demand um, economics 101 supply and demand there has to be a demand for what you're offering so get out there and check um, you can check with keywords and things like that i'm not going to give you the details on that today in this video but you definitely want to make sure whatever your topic is there's a demand you can just kind of google it in youtube and see if other people are doing it if there's other people that are providing videos on that topic and they have huge audiences then you know there's a demand then you're getting into the field of competition and how to shine so that they come watch your video instead of theirs and that that's a whole nother <laughs> video as well all right so choose your topic that's number one number two is get a be clear about who your audience is when you first start out you're, you're gonna say yeah but I don't have an audience when you create a video you're already creating them for your target audience you create your video as though those people are already watching and then they will come you build it and they will come because they are looking for you remember you found a topic that there's a demand you're targeting in on a certain audience let's say you're doing health and fitness and you just want to share recipes workout sessions and things like that who are you targeting are you targeting your videos to men or to women uh, obviously men and women work out differently to a degree um, are you targeting to younger generation or to older people so you know you can keep narrowing that in sure other people maybe you're targeting women and men might come and watch and that's fine but you need to figure out who you're targeting and then when you create your videos that are full of value and content that matches your topic then you'll start to build your audience this one is really important number three i want you to do a brain dump and what does that mean a brain dump is just start writing down all your ideas of the type of the videos that you would like to make now sure you can try to write 100 you can try to write 50 but just maybe set a timer and just start writing even if they're crazy ideas and try to get you know a couple pages full what are some of the videos that i want to create for my channel what is it that i what content do i want to provide for my target audience what is, what is their demand for what problems are they having and how am i going to solve those problems what solutions am i going to give them and you probably have already thought about that without really putting it down on paper but just start writing it down now once you have once you feel exhausted like i just can't think of anything else then go in and pick out maybe the best 10 or 20 topics so now you have something to start with honestly when i first started I, I really got stuck in that area. I had, my problem was I had so many ideas that I had to narrow it in. So I just decided because I was new, I was new in my business. I was new on YouTube. I decided to just do how to videos because as I learned things, I would make a video. And for me, that was easy because coming from a teacher background teaching somebody else how to do something that was easy for me and then it started to grow from there and then i started to look at um, different areas that i could focus on and and bring up the quality but in the beginning 
just pick those 10 or 20 so you can get started because that's what you're trying to do in the beginning you're not going to have thousands and thousands of people um, watching so don't worry about that as much as i have content and something to um, talk about in my video all right this one a lot of people say okay i want to make videos but it's going to cost me a lot of money i got to go out and get fancy cameras and microphones and all these different things and it's going to be expensive it honestly is not many people make their videos and i've done it um if i have a day um right now my goal is to make a video every single day and because i am looking for youtube to recognize me and see that i'm serious about my channel um, many people suggest doing three or four times a week you have to decide but what kind of equipment do i use there are days that sometimes i'll just go outside because i feel like my audience needs a different background um, i'm sure you get tired of just seeing you know gray in the back or a window or something so i like to go outside we live out in the country we've got a beautiful scenery and i'll just go outside and use my um, phone and i'll videotape on there and then i'll download it onto youtube and it works just fine so you can use your phone in the beginning don't worry about it now microphone many laptops or phones have a microphone that's good enough but if you're using your laptop i would experiment with it my laptop um, made my um my microphone picked up a lot of noise and it was very scratchy so i went out and bought a yeti microphone i think it was like 65 dollars. it wasn't very much and then i bought a new camera to put on my laptop and i think it's um what's it called logitech and it's a hd uh, 920 I think is what it is and I think it everything was less than $150 um, if you decide to go outside and you or if you decide to use your iPhone you're going to need a tripod to put it on so that's 30 bucks I mean for less than actually if, if you want to upgrade everything is less than $200 um, the back back drops you can get those some people have brick and things on them um, it depends on what you want to do but honestly if you're starting out I would just get use my phone honestly because in the beginning don't worry so much about the mechanics as much as getting some videos made and getting in the habit now i have a list of some of the tools that i have purchased and use um, when you're ready there's a link below and it says tools for um, youtube channel you can click that and put it aside somewhere and then maybe gradually um, you might want to start upgrading what you're using but again it doesn't it's not that much now you might ask well what about the actual video i use camtasia i have a link down there for you i started out using screencast because it was free imovie is free the problem that i found with screencast was that i had to it was free but then if i wanted to save those videos i had to pay a monthly fee to store them and what i didn't like about that was i had to pay them um if you didn't if you didn't pay the fee then they would delete them after a year so i got out of there right away and i went ahead and got the camtasia i paid a one-time fee i own it i store everything i have on there i store um, i have a second storage file on my laptop and then youtube stores them so um it's it's a one-time fee and you're done so if you want to do something like that and camtasia has all these cool little editing things that you can do i haven't even learned everything yet there's so much that you can do you can do that or go for free do screen screencast or iMovie they both work now you know what you're going to produce you know how to do it now you have to come up with a schedule I like I told you I do a video every single day and sometimes my videos are short but like I said I personally am somebody that I'm following who's become very successful with YouTube suggested doing that and I'm going to follow what that person said because I've watched them go from nothing to huge um, I did not even know that you could monetize on YouTube um, you have to have a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours as of today to be able to monetize so when you see them um, doing those end cards and, and things all over their videos you do not have the ability to do that until you monetize and for you to get monetized you have to meet those requirements and it's going to take you a good six months maybe two years depending on how fast you grow um, and then YouTube will recognize you man they're, they're putting out a video every single day and they're serious about this and that's what that person did and they said they broke through and YouTube just started really pushing their videos so that's what I'm following from my a YouTube mentor but other people say um, qual quality is really important um, if you really want to get into learning keywords and search engine optimization um, 
that might be the way you want to go. You're going to have to decide how many videos I'm going to put out and you're going to have to play with it and see how fast you're growing. Um, I definitely personally wouldn't recommend doing less than three or four a week. And um, I think people that have gotten down to one or two are already recognized as a YouTuber um, and they can do that and because people are already following them. But that's just my opinion. But what is your schedule? Some people suggest batch filming and what they will do is maybe plan 20 videos and just film them all in one day. I'm not to that point, to be honest. I do about three or four in a day and I do that two to three times a week. Um, again, that's a heavy schedule, but that's my focus on my business and that's my priority. So for me, it's not a big deal. I enjoy it. But again, um, I'm not all over all, a lot on like Facebook and Instagram and all those things. Um, I, I have other videos to explain why, but I'm doing the search engine optimization type uh, research uh, marketing. And it's a lot different than other marketing where you just throw out ads and things like that. So decide your schedule, write it down and stick to it. So, you're cons so that you, people know when to expect a video from you. Now, number six is really important. The next one is create your YouTube channel. You have to have a Gmail account. And once you set up your Gmail account, you can just go to YouTube and create. Once you set up that account, that Gmail account, um, you can click a button, go to the YouTube channel, and then just go through the steps. Now, I do have a link below that takes you through those steps. So if you don't want to follow them yourself or you want to make sure you hit everything, then watch that video that's below. All right, so let's go to number seven. On your YouTube channel, you're going to create a banner. And like I said, um, I will teach you in the video below. But when you create that banner, you can follow the steps. Um, you can go to Canva and create one. And then you want to put a description. That's the most important thing. Make sure you put a description that lets people know what your channel is about. And then go ahead and film your first video. Go ahead and film it and then edit it with your um, software. That's number nine. Um, sometimes you just might want to go through and film it and it may not need any editing and just go ahead and upload it. And again, all those steps are in the video below on how to upload and how to get that channel set up. You definitely, when you're doing the editing, you definitely want to create a thumbnail. And what I suggest you do, there are so many different ways that people make thumbnails. Some people use um, fun colors um, and they've branded themselves. Like you see the gray and the blue here. Um, you could decide that those are my colors that I want everybody to recognize me with. Mine's actually red and black. Um, I just swap them out on my videos um, just because I don't want everything to always be the same. But on your thumbnail, you might want to use certain colors all the time. And I've seen some that they're really cool. But just go into the YouTube channels and see what people have done. Google a few things that you ha are interested in and see what catches your eye. Like, let's say you have a list of five videos. Um, some people just automatically pick the first one. I don't. Um, other people will look and say, well, there's five different videos and one of those is going to catch your eye. And then ask yourself, why did I look at that one? What caught my eye on that thumbnail? I will say this in general, you typically want to put your picture on there, even though you might hate doing that. Most of us do um, put your picture and have just a few words. I have read that seven or less words is best. If you start putting too much information on that thumbnail, you'll lose people. People want, you know, quick, you know, I want to quickly look and quickly scan and then pick the one that I want. Now, tip number 10, when you upload your video, you want to schedule the time of day. Some people believe it's best to do it early in the morning and then it's in front of everybody's face. I have also read, I, I do mine at 3.30 in the afternoon. Um, my theory is that most people are uh, going through video and stuff maybe at the end of their work day or maybe into the evening. Like my husband works all day and then when he sits down to relax after dinner, that's when he goes into searching Googles for things while he's sitting in his chair watching TV, kind of multitasks. But then you have other people that might search at the end of their work day. Maybe they've got all their work done. They're just waiting for that clock to tick so they can clock out so they might start searching. Not that they should be, but that's what's happening. So pick that time 
that you want to post your video so people know that's when they need to look for it and then be very, very consistent. This is a big mistake a lot of new people make is they will make a, the, those 20 videos because they made the list and then they get lazy and stop doing it and they're not consistent anymore. Now think, think of yourself. If you're following somebody and then all of a sudden there's a video, then there's not, you, you just kind of drift off and go find somebody else and that's what happens. So you got to be there every day at that time or three times a week or whatever you've chosen be consistent all right so once you upload your video you're consistent you have your time you want to give yourself a boost most people are not going to watch a video that has zero views it's just our human nature but we might watch the one next to it that has 39 views and you might say well all these other videos have a million or a thousand well you'll get there someday with consistency but you want to i call it having credibility um to show or social proof to show that somebody did watch my video it was only 40 people but they watched it so it's going to make another person watch it so how do you get from zero to 40 or whatever it is one watch it yourself like it yourself comment it on yourself and then share it on facebook or share it on instagram and tell your families and friends, Hey, I just started a YouTube channel. Can you go and watch my videos? Now I did not do that step. It's always recommended, but I feel like I wanted to build my channel without bugging my family and friends. And I did. And there was a while, honestly, in the beginning before I, I did research and understood how to grow my channel. Um, in the beginning, I think I was at eight, like by the end of my first month, but I wasn't doing any of those things. I wasn't asking other people to watch it. I wanted my channel to grow organically and I wanted it to be, and, and I wanted to grow it with integrity, if that makes sense. So that was just me. But if you do have friends that want to help you, whatever, go ahead and get them to watch it. All right. And the last one, and I'm going to say it again, I've, I've put this as a tip by itself, be consistent. You have to do it every single time that you say you're going to do it and don't give up, give yourself a year or give yourself a goal. My goal personally, and I'm not there yet as as of the day today that I'm videotaping was to make a video a day every single day for until I hit 400 or so 400 days in a row. So once I hit, I don't know why I picked 400 instead of 365, probably because I like to round things. So I've rounded up to 400. My goal was 400. And then I will reevaluate. I may just start doing six. I may just start doing, um, you know, taking Sundays off or looking at different days, looking at the analytics. When are people watching? When are my most popular days? So at that point, I may change my plan, but my goal was 400 videos every single day and just keep getting better. Just keep doing research, and what's going to help my channel grow and how am I going to get better? And that's what you need to do. Um, I had a, another uh, mentor, online mentor. I mean, you say that you don't meet these people, but you follow them. And he said, figure it out, like learn all this stuff. Stop going off and looking at shiny objects and training, 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 training. That's what a lot of people do, but get the information you need. I just gave you the basics now and it's in the checklist. You really, at this point, don't need more than that because you need to get set up. You need to understand what you're doing. And then from there, just figure it out, figure out how you can get better, figure out how you can get more growth and get more people to watch. And that's what the key is to the people that stick around that are successful, whether it's in business or with YouTube videos, they figure it out. All right. So that's my uh, bonus tip is figured out. Don't think that you're going to rely on somebody to give you this magic bullet because there isn't one there. There's these tips. These are the things you follow. And then you've got to bring yourself into it and figure it out and be yourself. There's another bonus. Don't try to be somebody else. Just be who you are. People like you or will start to like you and will follow you because of you, not because of you copying somebody else, if that makes sense. All right, check the videos below, the checklist, everything there, and let me know if you have any questions. Put those in the comments and I will answer. Thanks for watching.